Let's start with Adam Azim. Um, Adam and Tyler, I should say, huge news today. We're delighted to announce that both of you be boxing for European titles, not against each other, but European titles live on Sky Sports from Wolverhampton Civic Hall on November 18th. So Adam, starting with you, yep. it's Frank Petitjean. Uh, so I think everybody would have seen the EBU announcement. Um, experienced French champion, victories over the likes of Andrea Scarpa and Samuel Molina. But for you, in your career, with this trajectory that you're on, you must be delighted that the team were able to deliver this. And now you've just got to go out there and do your thing and, and bring that title back home. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm, I was really ex uh, you know, excited to hear the news that I'll be fighting for EBU title at just this you know, early stage of my career. And this is just my 10th fight. And for me to win the EBU title at just my 10th fight would be amazing and bring it back home to you know, the UK. Uh, it it's interesting to cut you off, but it's interesting because your dad just pulled me aside and yeah. said, you know, two very interesting things. Um, Spencer Oliver did it in his 11th yeah. fight. Uh, this would be your 10th, so yeah. you'll be looking to get one over on Spencer Oliver. Sorry yeah. to the omen if he's watching. Um, but also the first British Pakistani uh, yeah. to do it as well. You know, yeah. these are two good incentives for you. Yeah, definitely. Like, even itself winning the EBU title is a massive accomplish for me. And also, you know, getting the other two, you know, accolades where I can win it as well. And, you know, it'd be, it'd be massive, you know, in the British, Asian and Pakistani community that I'll, I'll win the U EBU title in my next fight. And, you know, I'm not letting this go. I'm going to give everything I've got. Coming off that win, a really good win against Aaron Fanyan. And yeah. I think their eyebrows were raised at the time. Fanyan in, high up in the rankings. And now we know the plan, don't we? If yeah. you got past Fanyan, which you did. Yeah. Um, we're looking at it now. This was yeah. a good performance against a very solid operator. It just shows uh, yeah. the aggressive nature of your team that you're, you're prepared to take these chances. And yeah. you, do you see that you have a high ceiling for yourself? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Like, you know, the Fanyan fight was no joke. He had 25 fights, 24 wins, one lost. And I feel like, you know, uh, you know for me dictating the rounds, I, I definitely need the experience like, you know, Fanyan. Um, I had two hard fights, two durable opponents, and I feel like this is a great preparation for the European title. And I feel like, you know, I, I came out of them two fights with flying colours. And, um, you know, it shows that I can you know, tick boxes as well in different, you know, uh, departments. And I feel like, you know, I'm ready for the EBU title. This is just you turning the screw because he was really dangerous early and yeah. you got that chin check, which people yeah. were calling for. He showed yep. you can take a good shot, although yep. I can already hear Shane McGuigan's uh, words yeah. ringing in, in yeah. mine and your yeah. ears. Yeah. We don't need to see you take those shots. Yeah. But do you feel that you, one, answered some questions yep. uh, and two, just showed um, really where, where you see your level now that this, this, is, this is the business end? You yeah. feel like you've perhaps done your learning and it's, it's serious fights, it's big fights, the, the EBU European title, this is effectively one step away from that fringe world level. Yeah, definitely. Like you're going to have stages where, you know, I had, you know, the highlight knockouts early stage of my career. Uh, this is the learning process for me now for the next stage. Like I am in the European stage now where the fights are going to get tougher. Like, you know, the training has to be smart. Everything has to be smart. And even in the fights, don't let everything get carried away in the fights. So I feel like, you know, them two fights I had, I felt like I developed as a fighter and my patience were really good in both of the fights. Um, but you know, the, you know, the next one, Frank, Frank Petterjan, his name is, a uh, good fighter, um, he's 35 years old, you know, age doesn't matter. But I feel like, um, you know, the Fanyan fight was harder, but I won't let that get to my head. Just uh, one more before I let you go. Um, yeah. In terms of this deal, I think the EBU ruled that uh, you can fight Petitjean now, if yeah. you win, you've got a fight Enoch Paulson yeah. and then the big headline if you win that there is a potential fight with Dalton Smith if he yeah. waits around yeah. um, do you still see yourself on this collision course I mean you, you both yeah. are treading your own paths yeah. but we're in the business of talking up fights yeah. this is the first time you've actually been linked yeah. um, in, in a potential collision course yeah definitely like you know down the line it would be something massive like I see right now it's not it's not a fight to make right now because I feel like we're both in trajectories to put to become world champions and you know I feel like you know if we become world champions and we can make the fight bigger but right now my 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 mindset's on the European title like I said like I'm getting that EBU title I've not looked at that once because I've been chasing the EBU title that's why I took the Fanyan fight you know to prove that I'm ready for the EBU title um, if that fight happens down the line it's gonna happen like eventually it's gonna happen so um, you know um, I'm not, there's no fuss. My mindset's on that European title. I'm bringing it back home.
Tyler Denny, uh, welcome. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a difficult day for you because you're a huge uh, Newcastle United fan, so you're doing this and then jumping on a train and getting home to watch the Champions League match tonight. I know you wanted to actually be out in Milan. Uh, commiserations, you're here. <laughs> um, but big news for you today. Uh, it's Italian Matteo Signani uh, for you. Quality European champion. Again, uh, same as Adam, European champion in his own right. One loss in the last six years. Tough operator, two stoppage wins in his last three. Am I missing anything out? Um, he's got to come to Wolverhampton. He's got to come to your backyard. <laughs> though. You must be over the moon with this news. Over the moon. It couldn't, it couldn't be any better for me to get a European title shot in Wolverhampton. I'm a proud black, black country lad, so the place is going to be booming. And uh, I can't wait to put a top performance on. And I feel like looking at him stylistically, I think he's great for me. And, and um, perform well, look good and get the belt. You're coming off these, uh, these, you've got all the momentum, coming off those good wins against Brad Pauls and Macaulay McGowan. Um, you know, the, the Brad Pauls fight particularly, uh, and even further back, the Brad Ray fight. This is you, you just seem to be happy at the moment, and a happy fighter is a, a dangerous fighter, but you seem to be in a groove. Uh, how important is momentum? Very, I think. I'm happy in the ring, that's the fun bit for me. It's the training and dieting and stuff. It uh, makes me unhappy, so when I've got a bit more food in me, uh, I'm a big foodie, so yeah, I'm happy, my belly's full and I enjoy fighting, I love fighting and on the big stage like that, for Sky Sports to come to Wolverhampton, it's ma not only massive for me, massive for the area, massive for younger fighters coming through, local, so this, the, I, I, hopefully we can set a precedent where we can come back there, but I've got to win then. If, I, I doubt he is watching, Matteo Signani, <laughs> uh, I, I heard he's a big Sky Sports News fan, if he is watching, what sort of atmosphere can you tell him to, to expect in that, that, you know, dancing with the wolves almost? <laughs> you know, Wolverhampton Civic Hall is going to be a bare pit atmosphere, you yeah. would think. Do you think he will have faced anything like that before, uh, walked out in an arena like that? Um, I doubt it. I think it's going to be a cauldron of atmosphere, but whether that's, if, if he's good enough, he's good enough. I think the atmosphere, I fought away on Manchester shows against Manchester guys, so, but I just feel like regardless of the atmosphere, it could be, 10,000 people there chatting my name, one person. I just feel like I'm better than him. And uh, it's a perfect fight for me. I can't, I can't wait to show everyone how good I am.